Hey guys, this is Barry with the Columbia Watch Society here to do a, a quick review. Um, been meaning to do this for a couple of months and I uh, just hadn't got around to it, but uh, finally here I am today just to take a look at um, a couple of Forstner uh, bands for uh, specifically for the uh, Omega Speedmaster. Um, Forstner, I really think, has, has set itself apart as the, the premier brand for these uh, aftermarket or premier aftermarket brand for the Omega Speedmaster. Um, I originally uh, got probably a couple of years ago now got the uh the jb mesh uh bracelet the, the one the uh the the nasa original remake um that uh neil armstrong and buzz aldrin wore um the walk on the moon um which was again just a fantastic uh bracelet um i think i have a video out there i'm pretty sure it's out there on our channel um if you got any questions about that certainly uh, reach out as well um but since then um i've been lucky enough to acquire these two beauties um got here uh again as i said on the first video i had i reluctantly sourced my uh my omega without a uh a bracelet um which i do not recommend um if you're gonna gonna go buy a a premier watch or a luxury watch rather go ahead and and, and spring for the bracelet cost I, I was trying to save a few bucks and i got without the bracelet and wore it on a nato for a couple of years and on leather for a couple of years and and fortunately forstner came around and, and made some some i think quality bracelets on par with the uh with the uh, stock bracelet but uh it's it's nice to have the full package if you if you got to sell it or, or otherwise but um again um these two bracelets here i've got the uh the forstner flat link first um a little bit shinier here as well as the uh the forstner president bracelet um both are just fantastic bracelets you can hear a little bit of rattle with this one this one not quite as much a little bit more solid both of them do have a uh, solid end links if you can see that here in this video um yeah you can kind of see the little solid end links but um again this one is a little bit more rattly than than the uh the flat link the uh the president is rather the the 1450 um bracelet um it's again the remake of a former omega bracelet the 1450 um again it's a uh, i think a got a vintage feel to it with the with the rattle um both awesome bracelets let's see first i'm gonna take off my uh explore here and put it show you on wrist what it looks like again kind of a jangly class a little bit but awesome with the uh jb stamp here on the uh on the, the clasp as well again let's always it's a habit here i always do a couple lines on the uh the, uh, the speedmaster when i put it on wrist but uh as you can see i think it looks just awesome on this again it's a brush finish which i think contrasts nicely with the uh with the uh polished lugs here and again you've got some brush surfaces on the side that must be a little bit beat up but um again i think that uh that contrast there from the polish to the, to the brush again i'm i'm not a super i don't dress super you know formal or or really even anything beyond business casual and to me the brush just looks a little bit better for daily wear for for my line of work and kind of close to where it works so i typically leave it on here when i when i wear the speedmaster another cool feature of of this bracelet that's not on the flat link which you look at it's actually got let's see if it's on this side i believe that's a little stretch there um which makes it super comfortable um again there's a little i guess some kind of elastic in there i'm not exactly sure i believe i should, should probably know that but something in there that's uh, allowing some stretch would again makes it makes it comfortable in the summer if your uh, wrist is swollen a little bit or, or whatever reason throughout the day um, again a little more comfort there um it's a nice feature gives you a little bit more uh, wiggle room with the sizing the only negative i'll say on this one versus the other one is the clasp is again jangly by design um but it is i would say inferior it's it's a little bit hollow compared to the uh, clasp on the uh, flat link, which is just absolutely fantastic. Um, again, from the video, again, it's a little more polished, again, like the uh, flat link itself. It's got polished uh, um, sides here with the brush center with, the, again, the, the JB branding there. Um, but again, this clasp was just is dynamite. It's got the uh, pushers on the side. Again, feels super secure. This one is just friction, so it just pops in. Again, I've had no issues with it coming undone, but yeah, not quite as easy. You would think when I put it on, I'm always nervous it's gonna pinch me, but it never has. So I'll take that for what it's worth. But again, here looking at the flat link, again, you can see it's it's definitely a, a fancier 
a fancy, I guess that's the right word, a little bit more eye catching here with the uh, the polished end links or the with the brushed center links or not end links, the the polished outer links with the the brushed center links here. Um, yeah, I think it it looks cool, and again, it it, it also works well with the Speedmaster. I, if you check out our Instagram, we got some photos of it on, on both. Um, I kind of go between the two of them, but I do prefer this one, um, the uh, President. But again, the, this is a very good bracelet. Again, I would say it feels a little more solid, not quite as jangly, but again, I just prefer the, the aesthetics of this one. I have seen you can buy, I believe, on their website. I believe you can buy the clasps, and I know some people have actually replaced or wearing this bracelet with this clasp. I believe that's an option. You can you can purchase it separately. Um, if I was only gonna do one, that's probably what I would recommend is go with this bracelet, with this clasp. And you kind of get the best of both worlds there. Again, with the box here, this is one of the boxes here. Nice packaging, same as the uh, the mesh, but nice packaging. And it was really cool. They came with a little, uh, little screwdriver tool that is obviously perfectly sized. These links are, it was super easy to size. Um, again, the, the screws are, are well inserted and, and are in, in a pretty robust construction. However, this, I mean, again, obviously with the perfect size, it's a relatively easy change. Um, but again, nice little little add-on there with the, with the packaging. Um, one thing I'll say, if you, if you go with the uh, flat link and you are removing links, which you almost certainly will, the, uh, be sure you get the uh, polished, or at least you keep it consistent. Um, if you, because there's the other side, the inner side is brushed, which now that I think about it, I, I guess you could go all brushed with the flat link and just uh, flip all these around, which, hey, maybe I'll try that again. I think, again, I don't prefer the polish, but if I can get the brush look, maybe I'll, I'll try that out. It's gonna be a little bit of work. But uh, not too not too bad. I don't think. Again, these these screws are pretty easy to to remove. But uh, that's it, real quick. Um, this ran a little bit longer than I thought it would. But uh, again, if you got any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, reach out to us through this video or on Instagram, um, the the Columbia Watch Society, um, colawatch.com, and uh, here on YouTube. But again, uh, if you like this content, please uh hit follow. Um, we'll we'll continue to put more stuff out. But uh. Hope you guys are, are having a good one and uh, love to hear from you. Thanks.